What's up guys, Dan Moss Jr. here, and I'm sitting in my infrared sauna that's currently 170 degrees. How did I get this infrared sauna to 170 degrees? Because don't they cap out at 140? Let me tell you how. All right, so all throughout the sauna, in most infrared saunas, you're gonna see these infrared panels. You've got one on the floor, one on the calves, up here in the back. This is a two-person sauna. I got it on Amazon. I'll put the link to it in the description if you want it. Surprisingly, I've had people ask me where I got this sauna. And I've loved it. I've had it for, I believe, three, maybe four years now, but it's only ever gotten to like 140 degrees. And that's when it was like a hot day and had all the vents closed and me and my wife were in here breathing hot air. So 140 is about what an infrared sauna is going to max out at. Now I liked it. I liked that it got to 140. I could sit here and use my phone. I could read. I could sit there for an hour and I would sweat and I would feel good, but I would never really feel that sauna effect, like where you're hot and you feel like you have to get out or you're going to pass out, right? So I decided I wanted to try to figure out a way to make it hotter. So I watched a lot of different videos on YouTube. I researched the crap out of it and I could not find anybody. Like there's a couple, there's like a really watched one that you've probably seen if you, if you Google or YouTube how to make an infrared sauna hotter. And the guy talks about closing off the vents and putting uh, foam on the roof with some weights on top of it. And all that's great, but like that doesn't really make it hotter. Like I wanted this thing to be hot. I wanted to get in it and have to wear these goofy sauna hats that protect your hair and your head from the heat. Now at 170 degrees, I don't necessarily need this hat. Um, I'm kind of wearing it just for fun. But at like 190, 200 degrees, 210 degrees, which this DIY has gotten this sauna to those temperatures, you definitely want to wear a hat. I, I got in here like for like three minutes the first time it was 210 degrees and I felt like my hair was literally going to fall out. So that's why I'm wearing this goofy hat. But let me tell you how I did this so you don't have to watch the other video unless you absolutely want to. Let me show you this real quick. So this is the panel that tells me it's 55 degrees Celsius in here. It's not, it's um, it's way hotter than that, but it, it kind of maxes out and I'll tell you how I did that for a second. But that's where you turn on the infrared part. This is a patio heater. And I'm gonna go ahead and answer some questions that come through my comments all the time on this. So two questions I get all the time in my comments on any of my sauna stuff related to this patio heater. One, what about the EMFs? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let me go ahead and show you. All right, so I'm currently holding this EMF reader, and I'll be real, I don't know exactly what it means, but I know when it beeps and it goes red and it beeps really fast, it's bad. So right here is next to me. Like this is my, my lap, this is where I am. The closer I get to this heater, which I'm not gonna be here, it's too freaking hot, it goes up. This is where my head is, right here. Like this is where my head is. So it's not beeping. I know there's definitely EMFs in here, but I don't know, is that bad? I don't think so. Closer I get, but I'm not gonna be there. This is where, this is actually closer the, to the heater than I actually am. So I don't know, you tell me. The crazy thing about this, and you should try it, if you get an EMF reader, they're not expensive. I'll put the link to this in the description or just go to Google or Amazon and buy yourself one. Um, crazy thing about this is if you are watching or streaming anything on your phone through Bluetooth or cellular or Wi-Fi or anything, just watch something on your phone and watch this thing go crazy. I've never seen it so high. That's really scary. And I have an EMF blocker on my phone, one of those Aries Tech that's supposed to be the best ones. And my phone goes crazy when I have this on, when I'm watching a video or something like that. So the other cool thing is like over here by the panel has higher EMFs than the heater. Look at that. So just here's, here's, let's be honest, right? This is a low EMF sauna, infrared sauna. You're in elect, like it's electric heat. So that's elect, like that, that's going to create an EMF. So like, okay, I get it. We don't want EMFs go outside and run and get really sweaty. But if you know you're going to be around EMFs anyway, you might as well get some sort of benefit from it. Like sweat. So that's my thoughts. I don't like to sit in here for four days in a row, but 10 to 20 minutes, I guess I'll be okay. And now the question, how hot does this get? So this is the remote to my patio heater. It was $80 on Amazon. Very easy to install. I'll put the video at the end of this video. So if you wanna actually watch that DIY, you can see it, but this is it. You can go 500 watt, 1000 watt, 1500 watt. Currently have it on a thousand watt and it's 170 degrees in here with the infrared sauna on as well. So I get that extra benefit. If I click it to 1500 watts and leave this thing on for 30 minutes, it gets to 200 plus degrees. The highest I've got it, they didn't, very easily was 210 degrees, which is insane. And now I'm gonna give you like a little third tip, a little third thing that, you know, I found has been really good. So like 
when should you use the sauna? A lot of people have different ideas on that. I like to use the sauna right after I work out. So I'm a big cold plunge advocate. If you've watch my channel or follow or subscribe to my channel, you'll see a lot of cold plunge, biohacking tips and stuff like that. So you'll see a lot of that. I love cold plunging, but I don't necessarily cold plunge after my workout like athletes do. A lot of athletes will jump in ice after a big game or a big workout because they're already big and they're already swollen. They're already freaking shredded. To me, in the research I've done and in my experience, not so much from studies, but in my experience is after I have a heavy lift day and I have a really, really good workout, if I get in the cold plunge, of course I feel better, but I feel like my gains are minimized and I've, I've researched that and apparently that's true. So like today I had a heavy lift day. I'm not gonna get in the cold plunge right after I lift, but I am gonna get into the sauna. It activates your heat shock proteins. It activates a lot of recovery. It helps with my joints. It helps with my infl inflammation in a positive way. It actually helps to cause the inflammation, which helps to help with your gains, I guess. I mean, listen, I'm not a scientist. There's a lot of people on YouTube that'll explain all this stuff. But for me, let me just tell you my experience. When I work out and I get into the sauna for 15 to 20 minutes after I, I work out, for the rest of my day, I'm sweating really well, so I'm detoxing really well, and I feel better. That's it. I don't know the science behind it. I just feel freaking better. What I am gonna do, because I'm spending 20 minutes in here, it's been about 30 minutes after my workout, I am going to go ground, get morning sun, and then I am gonna jump in my cold plunge for 20 minutes, or I'm sorry, for two minutes, not 20 minutes, for two minutes. Just a quick cold plunge to cool down and to ignite my energy, because truly, when I get in and out of that cold plunge, I have energy for hours. You don't need caffeine. Just jump into cold water. And that's that. All right, guys. So my phone's about to overheat. It's 170 degrees in here, and these phones are not really good at that heat. So that's why I kept this at 170, not 200, because I wanted to do this little video, give you a little update on this infrared sauna. Turn All right, guys. So my phone just overheated while I was videoing, which is expected. I mean, that's why... I kept this thing at 170 degrees and not 200 because you can't use your phone when you're in a sauna this hot for a long period of time. But I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the engagement. I really do enjoy it. Like for me, YouTube has became my new favorite social media platform because it connects me with so many different people around the world. If you'd like to subscribe, I'd love to engage with you as well. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Like this video because that does help other people who are interested in this kind of stuff see this video. And I just want to say thank you again, guys. Have a great day and God bless. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits at the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law, he meditates day and night. Psalms 1-1.